Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. Uh, I've got some special guests here tonight. Uh, one of them is Vince Pichel, and the other one from Hell Pichel, uh, lightweight UFC uh, veteran. And then also we've got Megan Parducho, master of the Meganator. So they're practicing a move right now. Let's go ahead and show it to you. Come on, check this out. So what are you doing to this girl right now? Something I probably shouldn't be doing. She's way too small, but... Oh, you're going to have to speak loud because people want to hear you. Oh, uh, well, we call this move the Hordesky. Uh, so, so, let's tell everybody why we call this the Hordesky. <laughs> uh, okay, probably not, he, Hordesky's probably not, like, he's not going to like the reason why we call Hordesky. Okay, we, we call this position the Hordesky because <laughs> the guy the there used to be a, uh, oh. there used to be a great fighter named uh, Chris Hordesky mm -hmm. and he was in the IFL and he actually fought a guy named Ryan Schultz. And so it should be called the Schultz because Schultz is the one that actually did the move. But we named it after the loser of the contest because it, we've just never forgotten it. It was a brutal beat down. Chris Hordesky was a great fighter, so no disrespect to him. It's just what our gym always called it. It's what we ended up calling it because the position became very famous. So, so here, uh, Vince, here you go down. Yes. And then uh, you can just look pretty. What so, am I doing? Just be right here. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get an inside wrist. I'm gonna get an inside wrist right here. And then with this hand, I'm gonna get the flipper or the thigh pry. And then we're gonna practice running what's called a spiral ride. I'm gonna get on my toes, and I'm gonna start walking out towards the head and breaking them down. Now, come around here to the front side of this. I have my elbow right here. This is the, the flipper hand. I have my elbow controlling his hips. If I can get his leg split like this, I can step my leg over and either have my foot hooked like this. You see how my hook is here? So it makes it hard for him to scissor his legs to turn to his belly. Or I can also get it all the way, which is the way Ryan Schultz had it, where he had it like this, with the legs in half guard and the knee is down. And then what ended up happening is, because he has the wrist, the guy can't really turn, you see like, if Vince tries to turn into me, like turn over, roll over, see how the, the arm is stopping him from flipping and turning and facing me. And, and because the legs stop him from going belly down. And if I keep some good weight, you can just pound right here, man. You can hit him in the body and then crack him in the head. You can elbow. I mean, it's a brutal position. So you can play with it a couple different ways. You can use the foot like this. And Vince has a nice story. I believe it was your fourth fight. <laughs> it was like yeah. fourth or fifth fight. His, yeah. his fourth pro fight, he ended up catching a guy in this position and uh, and beat him down really good. And then, real quick story on that. It was super satisfying. It was very satisfying. I was in the <laughs> corner, and it was kind of hilarious for me because I'm coaching Vince in the corner, and obviously... We I, worked on this a lot already. We work on it a lot, and I'm excited. I'm excited. You know who's less excited? Vince. So Vince is calm and like confident in the fight, and I'm kind of like antsy, like, we got to get the B down. Come on. I'm like, Vince, Hordesky, Hordesky, Hordesky. And Vince is like, go ahead. You want to say it? I get his hair nagging me as I'm fighting and I'm fighting. We're grappling. And I know what he wants because it's what I want to. It's that Hordesky. And I hear him, Hordesky, Hordesky, get it, get it. And I remember like getting so irritated. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what else to say to shut him up besides he wasn't ready. I just remember saying like, he's not ready yet. And then I just started yeah. fucking lacing him. All, all I heard in the corner was Vince yelling, He's not ready yet! And I'm like, okay, let's just wear him out then. And then a few moments later, few moments later I caught it. I he just, catches I it and beat him down and TKO. <laughs> so, Megan, uh, sweet little Megan, let, let's, let's teach you the hard desk key. Vince is going to beat you down first. He's going to get you in the spiral ride. So, we get a person in the turtle. We've been working a lot of this position, guys. Remember, you don't always have to put your hooks in. In the real fight game, you can beat people down. So, so he's gonna break her down to an elbow, and then once she goes down to an elbow, he goes the inside wrist. He's got the flipper on the other side. He's gonna roll, get on his toes, and put some weight and break her down to her hip. Once he does that, he's gonna take his right leg, step over like he's putting a hook in, and either foot up or knee down in between the legs. Either one. I personally like to go yeah. knee down. Yeah, if you can go knee down, that's solid. He's got weight. Go ahead, Megan, try to get up. See what you can do, bro. <laughs> All right? 
And then, oh, she's pretty tiny, so she's kind of squirming out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she's squirming out. Oh, you may not be able to do this to Megan so well. Uh-oh. But go ahead, Vince, like step <laughs> over here. And now go ahead and crush that knee back in there. Simulate some ground and pound right here. So oh, this position. Push your daddy, what does he do? There you go. Okay, so Megan, let's, let's turn the tables on him. <laughs> Thanks, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're teaching technique. Bye. Let's see the antics. Come on. Let's see it. We're striking tomorrow morning if you guys want to come. Yeah, okay. So you pop up. Let's get our weight on him. Make him carry your weight. And now we got to chop. Run to the left side. Chop him down to the elbow. Go inside wrist. Inside wrist. Flipper. Get on your toes. Spiral the right. Break him down. Nice. Step over. Very good. She likes the toe hook. Yeah. So she's got that toe hook right there. Now go ahead, Megan. Work on establishing your base and, and administer some punishment. Can we get a little flip of the hair? There we go. There we go. And go ahead. Strikes. Hit the body too. I don't like this. Get him in the body. And then the head. Good. And now go ahead and choke him since that's what you really want to do. When he opens. He doesn't want to open. All right. This sucks. This sucks. So. All right, guys. So e easy move to learn. It's pretty simple. All jokes aside, we're just having fun tonight, showing you guys a fun technique, telling you some stories. But this is a really easy move to learn. So, is there is there anything really else? I mean, it's simple. No. Uh, another the other thing that I like to stress too is when I do it is to put weight on the person, like a lot of shoulder weight. So here, So. When I have the position, and I have her crushed like this, I have them crushed like this, I personally will put a lot of shoulder weight on their shoulder. And what this does, this really secures them from turning away from me. So they're kind of stuck right there. And when I put my shoulder in the back of her shoulder, I have her stuck in this, this lets me get little shots in, right? And these aren't, like, the reason why I love this so much is these aren't really huge shots, but these are damaging shots. And I can get a lot of weight in there on these shots as I'm stopping her with all my, Using, using my like what, I have three points of pressure. My knee, my my wrist control, and my shoulder, right? Those are my three points of pressure on here, controlling here. Where's that wrist? I'm throwing. Yeah, my wrist back here. So I have weight down right here, right? Like I have my, I have I have this, I have my pressure down right here on, on this arm. I have my shoulder pressure and I have my knee pressure down. So these are my three points of pressure that are controlling her as I have my free arm to attack. And they're but, probably, they're probably not gonna let you pull the hand out. Yeah. Like they're gonna, gonna they're gonna keep that wrist tucked well, under their belly. It's gonna be tucked under her belly, so this wrist is gonna be- Pull it under your belly, maybe. Your body? Yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm barely just gonna have a hand in here, if anything, right? It's usually, it's just, it's usually just my knuckles and beyond that I have the arm with, when I when I personally do it. I usually have this, right? And then Tuck it in tight, man. Hide your arm. There you so go. Don't pump yourself like you're defending, yeah. So I'll usually, you'll usually be like this, right? This is, this is typical what you'll be in. I mean, as you can see my grip, it's pretty shallow, right? But it's just enough that when I do have this pressure, she can't get that arm out. Like the best thing she could do is straighten it out right and try to run it around. But my arm right here has the pressure inside and I have her just so secure that even if she straightens that arm to try to run it out of my grip, I still have it there a blocker. And this shoulder pressure is gonna keep her open this way. She's only a little bit, but if I have good shoulder pressure, she won't be able to turn me as I'm punching. Yeah. She, she would also have to worry that if you were here, it's beat, beat down Megan Knight. Beat down Megan Knight. Mm -hmm. But pull your hand I'm under your stomach. Back up and you there you go. Me. So like, <laughs> if if someone was here and you were doing this and they pulled their hand out as well, this is dangerous for her. Because yeah. now I can pull that thing and get my knee up and now she's still in danger as I'm forcing it up her back into a sub, you know what I mean? So it's not exactly like she got out of the hold, you know, unless you lose the arm completely. But if you, if you control it like Vince did, Vince never let it through, even though she straightened it out or I pull it out, go up her back, start bringing the hand up the back. You guys can get creative and start creating submissions like a simple hammerlock, pulling it up her back. So, nasty. Yeah. Megan, are you gonna use this? Yeah, seems cool, seems cool. I mean, Jiu-Jitsu is not really like a super, yeah. super I would do useful move, right? Yeah. It's, it's good for positioning, right? To secure position. If you got someone who's really like fighting you hard, it's good to secure position on them a little bit, but typically it's it's more of an MMA thing, right? It's yeah. a good position to land some shots. Yeah, it's it's mostly MMA. So unless you want to get down and dirty, 
you're probably not going to use it too much in jujitsu. Yeah, I use it in jujitsu. I'm, I'm trying to. Just a, I'm trying to get you interested in like. Yeah, I want to start. To get you, into MMA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 who would like to see uh, Megan in MMA? Oh my! Yay! <laughs> if you guys want to see Megan in MMA, comment down below. Let us know. I'm just trying to put some pressure. Guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Vince, Pichel from Hell Pichel, UFC lightweight. He'll be fighting again probably before the year is up. Megan, maybe someday we'll be making a comeback. I don't know. Maybe when uh, COVID, we finally open back up, she can get going to some tournaments. Uh, and I'll be back more next time with more great stuff. Thank you guys so much.